there is quite a number of reporting that we can do without writing any single formula at all. For example, if I take a look at this report, which is sales by category, and I go check under the values, if I place, if I click on this drop down, I can see that this is a summation of the sales values. I can change that to average, minimum, max. I can even go show the value as a percentage of grand total. But still, I will still be limited by the number of analysis I can do. If I'm going to be required to do advanced analysis like time intelligence calculations, of course, I'm going to need to write some DAX measures. DAX measures are really the spice of Power BI for me because they allow you to extend what you have natively, what we call the implicit measures. So the implicit measures basically are the calculations that Power BI defined by itself that is, you are not writing any formulas at all, but you can pull a values column and Power BI is going to sum it up. And after it sums it up by default, you can come change that summation to any other aggregation you like. But if you are going to be doing uh, analysis that is more, much more than simple aggregations, we have to write DAX measures. So we have already used an example of the DAX language in two different places. So if I come to the modeling tab, I'll see I have a section for calculations and under this section, we have new table, we have new column, we have new measure. So these three essentially are the areas where you can write in the DAX formula language. So we have used DAX, for example, to create a calendar table. Remember, we use the function calendar auto. We have also used DAX to create new columns in that calendar. So we use some functions like format. We use the month function, whereby we try to add additional columns to the calendar table. But what we are here to do now is to write a measure. Okay, so what does a measure look like? So really, when you use DAX on new table, you can see what you are writing instantly. When you use DAX on new column, you can see what you write instantly. But when you write a measure, the only way you can view the result of what you have written is to pull it up on a visual. So you write a measure, you want to see the result, you need to select a chart and pull that measure on that chart before you can view that result. So measures are basically portable formulas in Power BI. So we need to understand exactly how does this work. So if I write a measure on, if I write a DAX on a new table, I see it. If I write DAX for a new column, I see it. But if I write DAX for measure, I don't see it. So we need to understand how this works.